Hello to the gamers, welcome back. More Slay the Spire. Here we are in Ascension 10. Start each run cursed with Ascender's Bane. The real Elden Ring starts here. Let me take a look at our pathing, okay? There's a shop, but we gotta eat a lot of combat to get to that. And we'll have two curses because we start with a curse. I'm just gonna be like a total coward and upgrade my zap, okay? I can live with one curse, but but two is a little much. Now, that being said, I'm going to stay on this path regardless. And the reason I'm going to stay on it is because it gives us the possibility to get two quick elite fights. And I'm seeing... I'm turning that frown upside down. I'm seeing it as a huge positive that there's lots of encounters for us. Yes, we'll probably take damage, but we'll also get a chance to add some damaging cards. Or maybe just a defrag, but I'm, I'm happy to have it. Maybe I'd be happier to have something else before I get defragged, but I'm, I'm not upset to, to see it. I'm not upset to see it. Okay, nine damage from evokes. So dual cast takes us to strike range, and you're cooked. So far, so good. We don't need to play this fast. Ball lightning, possibly the most obvious uh, no-brainer take on the first floor that I could ever imagine. I'm feeling... Is this Ascension 10 or Ascension 1.0, man? Because we're just... We're kind of cruising right now. We got nothing to worry about. And you know, Captain, your men are already dead. End an entropic brew? What did I do to deserve this, this beautiful bounty so early, man? Do me a favor. I do like having, like, one claw. I also do like the idea of having, like, well, we can get both. We'll get one claw and one genetic algorithm. The claw, and I'll admit fully that I might be barking up the wrong tree with this one. I think that it just gives us some form of incredibly slow scaling. <laughs> Admittedly very slow scaling. I gotta play it. I got I'm sorry, I've got to. And then I will use an attack potion to hopefully kill you. I don't think it's gonna happen, brother. I don't think it's gonna... Well, it might go... To, give it a second. You need to take three. You, there's a there's a chance. There's a chance. There's no chance. We take one damage. For the cost of a potion, I can live with that. Um, yeah, I forgot what I was saying earlier. Anyway, long story short. It, it, even though Claw scales slowly, I think having one of them in the deck feels kind of... It makes me more comfortable. Let's put it that way. Now, I'm thinking... We got to use our potions. Ideally, flex potion anytime we have three attacks in hand. Comments aren't gonna like that one. We played a lot of skills. <laughs> Three attacks in hand. It doesn't quite get us there, but I think we're we're still in a position where we don't have to rest. Uh, and we can use our Dex potion against the next elite. Sure, toss me a core search. Always like to have a core search. Now, what gets upgraded? Genetic algorithm is always like a toss-up, right? Because it evokes, um, or it, it scales faster, but it exhausts anyway, unless we get that thing that makes cards have a 50% chance to exhaust. I can't even remember. Is a spoon, maybe? Some kind of spoon? I rarely take it. This would, it would be rare for me to do so, but uh, I'm thinking about it. Defrag's kind of a no-brainer. Dual cast kind of a no-brainer. Whatever. It scales, it scales better. Let's get it going. And then this is <clears throat> for all the marbles. I'll play it just to scale it and get it out of my deck for now so it can show up next time. I'll zap it. Um, I don't want to wake you up. I want to turn... Oh, no! Mercury Hourglass, how could you? <laughs> I wanted a turn uh, to be able to play uh, Defrag, which, of course, is like the last card we're going to draw. And I might... Just be dead, y'all. I think that I'm just dead, actually. Um, whether we played that defend or not, we're gonna die. Okay, so that went wrong really quick. Probably took a, an aggressive path and then chose to smith instead of rest. We were kind of cruising till then, too. Okay, so I, I do like to get an elite fight out of this uh, reward if possible. So let's let's try for that. It's always nice to start a little bit more leisurely. Start me with a cold snap. I'm cuckoo for frost orbs, okay? Start me with an early sunder, and then good question marks would go crazy here. Two upgraded strikes is not as good as you can get. 
Let's get rid of a strike as well. It became cool headed. That's a that's a huge win. Now, unfortunately, we do not get uh, a free elite fight, but we got some good stuff regardless. Hmm. I Doom and Gloom, I kinda I like having a dark orb, but it's so expensive. Like the the two costs when we already have a uh, a Sunder in the deck is really tough. So I think you have to upgrade Sunder early in order to get the, the max benefit out of it. And then let me see what we're cooking with here. I think I like it enough. I like it enough. Sunder turn one kind of stings, but it is 32 damage. We're not going to get 32 damage for three energy out of too many card combinations. Maybe. I'll live with it. I think the right play. I'm gonna I'm gonna hit you. There's a small chance we actually draw Sunder this turn. And now I don't wanna draw it. So you know what? Now now I'm going slow play mode until we get Sunder again. Our second Sunder draw could be huge. Okay, I'll, I'll wait. I'll wait as long as I need to wait. I'm in no rush. There's like a 50% chance to draw it on this turn. Okay, 50%, never tell me the odds. What a hit. There's a 100% chance to draw it on this turn. And then you die to lightning. Totally fine fight. Looked bad at the start, got better. Honestly, you could see the turbo, but I'm gonna skip. I, I don't know if we'll, be, if we'll be loving it long term. Our boss is Guardian. I think it's what they're called. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be aggro here. I'm gonna be a little aggressive. Let's cut a defend, keep the deck thin. Blue candle and horn cleat. Horn cleat seems kind of goaded for keeping us uh, not dead. So I'm stoked to see that. I'm just gonna say it's amazing, <clears throat> an amazing turn to draw Sunder and look at that. Sunder early has changed my life. As long as you ignore all those times when it killed us. Uh, I do, I love the idea of having a Dark Orb, man. Because it just gives us such good... But maybe we don't need one if we got Sunder and then FTL to draw Sunder faster. And then my whole methodology right now is like, I don't need to rest because I have a Liquid Memories that can probably bring back a Sunder. This is probably like a, a worst case scenario... Uh, fight for us to be having right now. <laughs> Just trying to think. I guess I could, you know what? Use this potion right now. Bring back a rebound. Turn two, nobody's even attacked. So we're actually fine. For the cost of a potion, we're fine. You do have to go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to punch through the shield here. Because I definitely don't want to be messing around with you next turn. We just, we're gonna draw dual cast, right? No, we're gonna draw Sunder even better. Even better than dual cast. And we might draw dual cast anyway, we don't need it. Okay, totally fine. Although now, I do kind of wish I'd rested, because you never know what this guy's gonna hit you with, but... I'm trying to think of what we... What are we worried about? We don't want to be made vulnerable, so let's... Take the Ancient Potion, hit him for 32. We're... Looking okay, right? Dual cast and strike just kills you. Great ancient potion. Maybe we didn't even need it now that I think about it. Maybe it was a, the worst possible ancient potion. It would be nice to have AoE, but I, I've i been playing with Sweeping Beam on my phone a little bit, and uh, that's hard for me to admit, because it has not been working out. But I'll sell a kidney, man. I'll sell a kidney to make it happen, please. Okay, I'll, I'll take a self-repair. I'll cut a basic strike. 15 cards. I'm, I'm not against it. I'm not against it. I'm gonna go a little crazy here. I, I'm gonna own this, okay? I think we may die against the Guardian by not resting, but I'm still gonna give it a chance. Because if we don't die, this will be huge. Drew the Sunder, come on, man. <laughs> it's like that, you, you gotta take risks, I think, as my, my hunch at least is you have to take risks as you get higher and higher in the ascensions. 
Wow, that was so misplayed, but... Um, because you kind of need to thread the needle in order to have the perfect run, in order to have a chance to succeed. So, I'm trying to... Slowly but surely... <laughs> get myself... Uh, I'm, I guess I'm just gonna play it? Uh, we we could have done better. We could have played st defend, strike, reinforced body for one. But... Um, Let's rebound a zap first. Let's play a cool headed. Let's get some block out of it. Let's get that zap out there. We could take three damage or I could hit you for nine. Let's let's slow you down here. Or I don't know, maybe I'm incorrect. I'm still I'm I'm soliciting feedback from the, the audience as well. That's a big one right there. We haven't taken too much damage. But we're kind of in a position where like if we had a horrible draw, things could get a little touch and go for us, I think. You do three damage. Let's draw then. And then you can just play that, I suppose. I'm going to rebound the zap. I know we're taking damage as a result of that, but I think getting the orbs whipping around is important to kill you in a relatively timely fashion. We're taking eight damage. That won't kill me, but it will get me starting to think about getting my affairs in order. Uh, we'll hit you for 32, which seems kind of like the perfect number for this situation. 55 life remains. Cool head me. Zap me. I could probably, if I cold snap you, I go down to 2, reinforced body takes us to 11, plus we have the frost orbs. Which means I could possibly play this. We're at 15. Yeah, I can hit you once. We don't really care about the draw. It's just about getting that number down to zero. And then we sunder you. Take a little damage, but we make it. Regen potion, beautiful. Meteor strike? What am I going to do with that, man? <laughs> I guess I'll take machine learning. It's not the transformative card I was hoping for, though. And then honestly, I mean... Let's go, let's go, uh, Frozen Core. But I'm, I'm feeling pretty skeptical about how we're looking here. This, to me, seems like a don't fight elites unless you have to type of floor. So. The, I mean, it's like a self-caricature, I'll admit. But, like... Why are we in a tough spot? It's because we didn't get Echo Form, <laughs> mostly. That's the big one. It's always going to be nice to draw... Like, more cards. Like, one extra card per turn is no joke. And we kind of have, like, a, a Frost Focus thing going on. Don't get me wrong. But 35, this does 32. That's criminal, man. You know I'm going to... Toss you some of this and then... For the cost of a potion, I can live with that. All upgraded is is really nice. I'm going to take a Darkness Orb. Sunder's not going to continue to pull its weight forever. I think this might be a situation where we try to make Ritual Dagger work. Basically, I'm, I, I think that we're in a tough spot. As a result, I'm trying to take more chances. Because I feel like we're on the slow path to uh, a loss if we just keep it going the way that we're keeping it going right now. We want the orb. Dual cast also generates another frost orb. But... One, you're doing 12 damage. I think I'd... I've played 9, 2, 2, 9, 2, 2. One second, 9, 2, 2. 9, 2, 2 is 13. Okay. <laughs> kind of embarrassing, but... If we can get this ritual dagger popping off, who knows? It could become, like, almost as strong as a Sunder at some point. It's a bit of a pipe dream, but that's things. I, I'll, wait, wait, 14 and 12, we need... That means we're taking one damage if my, if my napkin math is correct, so I'm, I'm willing to roll with that. Now, this turns a little nasty, but Sunder definitely gets a kill. It doesn't do enough to kill them, so I have to use it on you. And then probably you just play like... Rebound. Honestly, probably rebound the darkness because the darkness also serves to get the the frost orbs evoking. I'm glad we popped the regen potion though. So I would say hit it. 
Hit it. Hit it. <laughs> Hit it. Yeah, and then we still... I mean, we're, we're being a little precious with Ritual Dagger. It feels like there should have been a way to make it work last turn, but... Four damage, four damage, you piece of junk. <laughs> Sorry, we're just stalling, boys. We're stalling for Ritual Dagger. Don't get on my case, okay? We're stalling. We didn't draw it? All right, fine. Whatever, we'll, we'll get there. It's a, it's a learning process. If there's things we could be happy about right now, and I don't think like we need to be too upset about how this run is going, but if there's anything we could be like really happy about right now, we have a very thin deck, which means changes that we make to the deck will disproportionately like help us. I think adding like a flash of... It, I shouldn't say help. Because that's up to the quality of the cards that I add, I suppose. <laughs> Changes that we make to the deck will be disproportionately affecting, I guess, is a, is a good way to describe it. It would be nice to have innate machine learning, but I'm, I don't know. I don't even treat it as part of our win condition, because like, I still am too naive to fully accept the positive effects of draw in this game. So you're doing 23. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll block 27. I'd rather take zero damage if, if possible. And we, we'll get you in the spin cycle, okay? You're doing 23 again? That's, that's criminal. That shouldn't be allowed. I'm thankful for Horn Cleat, but uh, still a little annoyed. Okay, now we're talking. Draw. Probably a great turn to get a machine learning out there. And then, like, basically, you're on DEFCON 1, which I think is, like, the scariest one, right? Because a dual cast will basically kill you. Flash me. Zap me for 30. Hang on, there's got to be a way. Oh, it's, it would be you instead, which means you're going to go psycho mode on me, man. But you're not going to heal this turn. Wait a second, let me think about this. Six plus eight, twenty-four. Okay, I, I think I have to try to make Ritual Dagger work. But you are going to be mad at me next turn. Not that mad. Not as mad as I thought you'd be. 5-7 block. Self-repair is a must play. We, have, we take one damage to heal for 7. There might have been a better way around that. But we, we make it, man. We make these. Obviously, dual cast Sunder would go kind of crazy. <laughs> How about I don't like taking damage. So darkness... Dual cast. You don't even need to play cool headed. You could just play rebound instead. Now we do, will still take two damage, but it is what it is. Now I'm not waiting for um, ritual dagger. I know it's not coming back, but okay. That didn't feel so bad. Stay on this path. Upgrade your deck. Six damage draws. Nice draw. Two cards is nice. Free dual cast. I mean, we maybe focus on energy cost because we don't have an energy relic. This needs to be big. First attack does eight more. Toxic Egg could be kind of big. We're not against adding a bunch of cards to our deck either. It's like, hit me. Hit me. Darkness Orbs are going to go crazy. Rebound the Darkness. Zap it up. Do not evoke it. And honestly, I'm a different kind of beast. Let's take no damage turn one. Turn two, I can't speak for that. <laughs> Let's play the Darkness Orb. So we need seven blocks, so we can play one more card. Okay. Now, it, this fight doesn't get easier, so we're really relying on this Darkness Orb to do a lot of work for us. I could evoke it. I don't want to evoke it, man. I don't want to evoke it. It, it needs to get dual casted because it's like our best single target damage dealer. You could dual cast it. Dual cast it first. Well, it didn't have to be first, but... Play a darkness orb. Play a reinforced body. At least you're getting a decent amount of block. This orb is the kill shot or ritual dagger is the kill shot. But you really got to get it whipping around. I don't have the energy base for this, dude. I don't have the energy base for this. Is this a sick joke? Is this a cool angel's thesis? 
It probably won't come back around, so I'm gonna make a I'm gonna make the grown-up decision to just send it out there. And then finish the job. I think that could have been worse, man. I don't think our deck is great, but I think it could have been worse. And I'm I'm skipping again. I'm keeping the deck lean and mean right now. Editor's note, it doesn't appear to be that mean. And I'm not sure it's really lean. I think it might just be malnourished. But we're going to do what we can, okay? <laughs> Don't body shame my deck, okay? It's doing his best. Okay, Sneko Eye. Fantastic. Almost all my cards cost exactly what they're supposed to. Big whoop. Enjoy that 32 damage straight to the dome. How about a dual cast Ritual Dagger? I'm afraid they can't let me do that. Okay. I mean, I'd rather... I'd, I know it costs two more than it's supposed to, but at least it drew, it drew something. At least it draws something. We're going to get hit for one. I mean, if we're going to get hit for one, I'd rather keep this Darkness Orb because it puts you on lethal with a dual cast. Surely... 30, 52? You really have 53 HP? Are you kidding me, man? <laughs> I'm willing to use a potion and make it work. There we go. Ritual Dagger gets a little bit of bonus. It's very annoying to get there, but... There's some hope to be had. Sure? I should have rebound that one, probably. I'm trying to think about what I even do want to rebind. Rebound. Rebound? First attack does 8 extra damage. I'll rebound a dual cast. I was thinking that I don't have orbs, but that's not true. I'm going to have a frost orb at the front. And it's free, which is nice. So we're taking zero, which to me means we can definitely play like two darkness. And this puts you in a dangerous spot. Now we'd really like to get a ritual dagger to kill you. 18 damage. It's going to be tough to make it happen. <laughs> like, Sunder didn't get us there because we were weak. I honestly, as much as I hate to say it, I think we just basically take the turn off. I would really prefer not to kill you with the darkness orbs, okay? I would really prefer to... Because I could, I could easily kill you. It wouldn't be hard, okay? But I'm going to give you one more turn to draw this ritual dagger. Thy kind is all of a piece. Okay, we, we, we did what we could, I think. We didn't even play our self-repair, did we? Remove a card from the deck. I mean, I'm, I'm starting to get a little wary of our defense, but I think that's what our Frost is for. And you know what? Early on, this, this might be where we start to appreciate the power of having one extra draw from the, from the jump. Okay. Okay. Ritual Dagger. Honestly, you might as well just get it out there. Because <laughs> it's going to hit a minion enemy, so... Skibbity to that, I suppose. Okay, how about, uh, we'll just strike you. How was our first turn? Let me just give it to you this way. I really think that, like, our, our success or failure pretty much just hinges on our darkness orbs getting out there in an efficient way. Yeah, that makes sense. I would, that's what I would have taken. That's probably, that's probably the way I would have done it, honestly. I think you made a great decision there. Can't really be upset with you. This is a free lunch, because we'll summon another frost. I think you might as well. This means we can get a Darkness Orb back. You're, this guy's getting too strong, which is not good for us. Obviously. <laughs> Flash of Steel Me. Hang on, I want to see what we're cooking with here. We definitely... I'd like to Recursion you, but I'd rather not Recursion you, you know, to kill something with 2 HP. And I think you might just want to eat garbage on this one. Like, rebound the darkness, so that we got our darkness orb back at the front. Because we really need to kill you fast, and that's going to be a challenge. So, like, a Sunder goes great here. It would be best... 
I, I think here you gotta embrace the dual cast first. And then darkness. Darkness. Like, it's a, it's an awful lot of damage, and we put the Dark Orbs in a great position, but I think we're gonna die on this turn. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I can find a way to block enough damage. 20, so I can get to 52 block with this. I don't think there's any means for us to kind of get around that, though. Unless I can kill you, but that's looking mighty optimistic. <laughs> like, this just means we die. So you have to play something else. But it's not, it's not helpful. Okay. Honestly, what are we at? 25 minutes? I think we could try to run one back. But we, we did, in my estimation, we gave that one the old college try. Actually, I, didn't, I don't think we have time to run it back because I was thinking if we have a successful run, this video is going to be like 90 minutes and then I'll be late for daycare pickup. But for now, thanks for watching. I, let me know what we did wrong there. I kind of think there's a... In anything, there's probably a lot of causes you can point to. Not getting what I would consider to be like a killer rare after the first act boss put us in a rough spot. But I think we did okay trying to pivot. For now, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time. See ya!